winterwind.com and I'm going to show you a few things about winter running apparel so that you can go out and be prepared for the colder weather as it comes in. Uh, once you get down to your feet, you have a couple of options. You don't want to wear cotton socks for the same reason you don't wear cotton anywhere else. Uh, I really like Thurlow socks. They're nice and thick. They'll keep your feet very warm. Uh, if you have shoes that are a little tight, then they aren't very good for, uh, for those kind of shoes, though, because they are, they are pretty thick. Um, you might also want to wear some socks that have uh, a little bit higher up on your leg, and then you can wrap those underneath your pants or under your, under your tights. And Wright Sock makes some really good ones of those. If you're running in icy conditions, you're going to want to have a good grip on the road. So one thing to consider is uh, putting something like stabilizers or yak tracks on your feet. And basically what, a st what the stabilizers are is it's a crampon for your shoes that you wear. And it's just got some screws down in the bottom that give you a good grip. The problem with these is that they can collect snow underneath of them. And they're heavy and, uh, and they can fall off of your feet. I don't run in these anymore. I liked them a lot when I did use them. But they... Uh, they're just a little bit too heavy for me now, so I only wear them on my boots when I'm shoveling the driveway. What I like to do is put screws directly into my shoes. It's much lighter, it's much cheaper, and it's a lot more effective. So I have a video on the runtowin.com already on how to uh, put screws in your shoes. It's really straightforward. Just buy some sheet metal screws screw them right up into the bottom with the head of the screw facing down. It'll give you some great grip. Uh, yak tracks are another option. I've never used them. I prefer just using the screws, so I go with that method. Uh, one other thing you might want to consider is make sure you have sunscreen on. Even though it's the winter time, the sun can still be very bright, and especially if you're running on snow or if you're doing any kind of lake running, then the sun can be coming down at you from above and reflecting off of the ice or the snow into uh, any exposed areas of your skin, which can warm you up quite a bit as well as uh, give you a good sunburn. So I think that's everything I've got to show you, and hopefully this was helpful.